The Earth occupies a unique position in the solar system, being located between the planets Mars and Venus. However, Venus, despite its location between these two neighbors, turned out to be far from expectations. Instead of the warm climate that one might assume, Venus is infernally hot, with temperatures reaching 900 degrees Fahrenheit. This is surprising, and contradicts our ideas about warmth and the possibility of the existence of life. NASA recently turned its attention back to Venus, based on discoveries made back in the 1960s that hinted at the possibility of life on this planet. It is interesting to note that historical records of that era described Venus as a hellish landscape, which only increased doubts about the possibility of life there. However, new data and research have forced scientists to reconsider their ideas and turn again to this mysterious planet. At a time when outer space was becoming the object of a race between the United States and the Soviet Union, Mars attracted special attention. Both superpowers sought to explore this planet and achieve superiority in the space race. However, the Soviet Union, despite the inhospitable conditions on Venus, did not abandon its goal of sending missions to this planet. Their determination was so strong that they continued their attempts even after the collapse of the Soviet Union. This aspiration and perseverance of Soviet scientists aroused admiration and respect. They were ready to overcome any difficulties and risks to uncover the secrets of Venus and find out if there is life there. And although the first missions to Venus did not lead to the direct discovery of life, they still played an important role in our understanding of this planet and its potential. Today, scientists continue to explore Venus using the latest technologies and methods. They hope to uncover its geological and atmospheric structure, as well as learn more about possible signs of life on this planet. Each new discovery brings us closer to understanding the place of Venus in our solar system and its role in the search for life in the universe. Thus, Venus, despite its extreme nature and inhospitable conditions, continues to attract attention and arouse interest among scientists. The possibility of life on this planet remains an open question, and further research will allow us to uncover its secrets and, perhaps, find answers to one of the most important questions. Are we alone in the universe, or are there other life forms even on extreme planets like Venus? Renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has played a pivotal role in uncovering the intriguing Soviet missions to Venus. Moreover, declassified photographs captured by the Soviet Union during these missions are now available for study. With the fall of the Soviet Union came a significant shift in global geopolitics. This transition not only reshaped the world order, but also exposed many previously concealed aspects of the Soviet space program. Renowned for its secrecy, advanced intelligence operations, and alleged suppression of potential extraterrestrial encounters, the Soviet Space Agency's contributions were often overlooked. However, before the United States assumed the dominant role in space exploration, the Soviet Union had spearheaded numerous pioneering efforts. Of particular fascination for the Soviet Union was Venus, which they referred to as Venera in Russian. The series of Venera missions, spanning from 1961 to 1983, significantly enriched the world's understanding of Venus. During this era, while NASA was largely centered on lunar exploration, the Soviet Union strategically allocated its resources to delve into Venus's mysteries. Although the specific motivations behind the Soviet Union's unwavering commitment to exploring Venus remain shrouded in uncertainty, conjectures point toward factors such as cost-effectiveness and resource optimization. It's noteworthy that the Soviet Union's enthusiasm was genuine, rooted in the prospect of uncovering water presence, assessing solar radiation and comprehending the planet's overall environment. This extensive exploration of Venus marked the Soviet Union's prominence in the realm of space exploration, even outshining the United States in certain aspects. Although NASA made significant strides, the Soviet Union achieved a series of firsts, including sending probes into non-Earth planet atmospheres, executing soft landings on other planets, and capturing images and sounds from extraterrestrial surfaces. Despite these monumental achievements, the Soviet space program was veiled in secrecy, and much of its archival data was either lost or intentionally destroyed after its dissolution in 1992. Consequently, the exact reasons behind the intense focus on Venus remain speculative. One theory posits cost efficiency as a driving factor, implying that the Soviet Union leveraged available resources by prioritizing Venus exploration over more distant planets like Mars. Intriguingly, during the height of the space race, Venus missions by the Soviet Union coincided with their larger ambition to assert dominance on the global stage. 
This pursuit intensified after the Soviet Union launched the first artificial satellite Sputnik in 1957, effectively jump-starting the space race. Consequently, the United States, recognizing the importance of space exploration as a symbol of power and progress, established NASA in 1958. This event marked the beginning of a concentrated effort towards space exploration and solidified the United States' position as a significant player. The culmination of this competitive atmosphere was NASA's iconic moon landing in 1969, a historic achievement that underscored American dominance in space exploration. Nevertheless, even this momentous event was not free from skepticism, as some Soviet experts questioned the authenticity of the moon landing, attributing it to U.S. efforts to maintain supremacy. Concurrently, the United States faced its own challenges with Venus missions during the 1960s, which were beset by failures, a phenomenon colloquially known as the Venus Curse. Exploiting this vulnerability, the Soviet Union strategically capitalized on the opportunity to establish an advantage over NASA. This strategic division of focus between the Soviet Union's Venus missions and NASA's lunar pursuits was not devoid of tension and propaganda. To discredit the Soviet fixation on Venus, NASA characterized it as an infernal planet while promoting Mars as the destination for humanity's future. However, the Soviet Union remained steadfast, aiming to demonstrate its superiority by accomplishing what the U.S. had struggled to achieve. This dichotomy in approach effectively showcased each nation's respective strengths. The Soviet space program emphasized pioneering technological advancements, even in the face of challenging conditions, thereby leaving an indelible mark on the early days of space exploration. The Soviet Union's Venera missions, often relegated to the sidelines of history, actually played a pivotal role in ushering in the space age. Commencing in the 1950s, these missions reflected the USSR's determination to venture beyond Earth's boundaries. Despite early setbacks and hurdles in technology, the Soviet Union persevered and rapidly advanced their capabilities. For instance, Venera 1, the first interplanetary flight launched in 1961, marked a significant leap in both scale and complexity compared to their previous satellite Sputnik. Although it did not achieve its intended mission due to technical issues, it managed to fly past Venus in 1961, becoming the first mission to do so. Venera 2, launched in 1965, built upon the design of its predecessor, aiming to transmit valuable data as it flew past Venus and then returned home. Although it improved on certain aspects, the mission still faced challenges. Radiator malfunctions led to overheating, resulting in a loss of trajectory and mission failure. However, these setbacks didn't deter the Soviet Space Agency as they continued refining their technology. The subsequent missions such as Venera 3 and beyond contributed to a deeper understanding of Venus's harsh conditions and guided modifications to address previous failures. While Venera 3, intended for a smooth landing, crash-landed on Venus, it marked a significant step forward. The data it collected during its brief descent proved instrumental in understanding the planet's atmospheric composition. Notably, Venera 4 managed to transmit valuable data for 90 minutes before succumbing to the extreme heat and pressure of Venus. These findings revealed high levels of carbon dioxide in the planet's air and the absence of a magnetic field. The progression of Venera missions gradually provided a comprehensive picture of Venus's inhospitable environment. Although Venus shares some chemical similarities with Earth, its thick atmosphere, intense temperatures, and crushing air pressure make it an unsuitable habitat for life as we know it. However, scientific interest was rekindled in 2020 when NASA confirmed the presence of phosphine in Venus's atmosphere, a gas that, on Earth, is associated with anaerobic bacteria. This discovery hinted at the potential for astrobiological life forms on Venus, notably, Russian researcher Dr. Leonid Ksanfomaliti reanalyzed the images captured by Venera 13 and highlighted intriguing features that might indicate signs of extraterrestrial life. These features included disc-shaped objects that responded to changes in heat or pressure, a vertically elongated black object that appeared and disappeared, and an image of an enigmatic creature resembling a scorpion. These images initially classified due to Cold War politics, have since renewed interest in Venus as a possible habitat for life. This renewed curiosity extends beyond historical exploration. Russia's space agency, Roscosmos, has outlined plans to revisit Venus and send conclusive missions to delve into its mysteries. 
This shift aligns with contemporary discussions about the potential for life beyond Earth and the implications of phosphine presence in Venus's atmosphere. In conclusion, the journey of exploring Venus has been marked by significant technological advancements, geopolitical competition, and unexpected discoveries. The Soviet Union's obsession with Venus, symbolizing dominance and achievement, led to an extensive series of missions that unveiled important insights about the planet. While Venus's harsh conditions initially seemed insurmountable, recent scientific findings and advancements in technology have rekindled hope for potential signs of life on this intriguing planet. As researchers continue to unravel the mysteries of Venus, it serves as a reminder of humanity's ceaseless curiosity and pursuit of understanding the cosmos.